Hello and welcome. Today we're working on what is simple interest. I've got the formula and I've got the examples of simple interest. If you're new to the channel, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn, where I help you finally learn financial literacy. And one of the things we need to learn is interest and simple interest and compound interest. All right, I teach accounting. I teach a lot of things here that are financial related, but we're in the financial accounting chapters. So this is the time value of money. You don't have to be taking accounting to learn simple interest or to learn compound interest, but here's where we're located. If this is interesting to you, I've got playlists, I've got articles, videos, and so on. Now, what is simple interest? Well, simple interest is the formula. Interest is principal times rate times time. So a lot of times we use a shorthand that says I for interest equals PRT for principal times rate times time. So I've got some problems, some examples that I want to show you how to do this. So this one is for nine months, and so it's for partial years, so we're gonna to have to use a fraction for the time rather than a whole number. So let's get started with this one where we say John invests $5,000 in an account that earns 8% for nine months. We're gonna ask two questions. What interest did he earn? And what's the total value of the account at the end? Well, what interest did he earn is our formula, I equals PRT, or interest equals principal times rate times time. So what's the principal amount? Well, that's gonna be $5,000. What is R, or the rate, the rate of return, or the interest rate? That's gonna be 8%. Now, 8%, remember, in decimal form is 0 0.08. So use the decimal form, 0 0.08. The time is gonna be nine months. So I'm gonna type in nine and put months beside it here. And so I'm gonna show you how to calculate the interest for John here. So it's principal. So let me type it out here. I equals, the principal is gonna be 5,000 times the 0.08% times the time, we can't just multiply it times nine because that would be like nine years. We're gonna do nine divided by 12. So nine twelfths is a partial year, nine months out of the 12 months for the year. So if we multiply that out using Excel here, 5,000 times 8%, that would be 400 for the entire year, right? And then we're going to multiply that times the nine months divided by 12. So it's going to be $300 is our interest for this investment for nine months, 8%, $5,000. So what is John's total value? It's going to be $5,000 plus the $300 we just calculated. So it's going to be the $5,000 the principal plus the interest of 300, so the amount is 5,300. Now, this is called future value or FV in when we calculate time value of money. So if you hang with us until we start talking about compound interest in the next several videos, then we'll call this future value, the 5,300, the account value at the end. All right, so let's think of it a different way. So interest, is principal times rate times time, or I equals PRT. And so here, here we have 5,000 times 8% times 9 twelfths. We have a $300 interest that we've earned, and this is a $5,000 8% note for nine months. You can think of it this way. We did the formula, so that's a good uh, way to remember that. Now let's do Marie invests 5,000, and her savings account earns 7% and it's gonna be for five years. So let me give you a, a little warning here. Usually, anytime we use you know, multiple years, then we're gonna use compound interest, but we're only working on simple interest right now. So generally, we would calculate some, uh, compound interest rather than simple interest, but we can calculate this certainly with simple interest. Compound interest is gonna be a better concept for us, but to understand compound interest, let's start with simple interest. That's what we're doing. All right, so $5,000 is our principal, 7%, 0.07, and five years is gonna be the time period. So what do we know? We're gonna have interest, or I equals $5,000 times 0.07 times 
times five years. So how much interest does Marie earn? Well, it's going to be 5,000 times the 7% times the five years. We don't need a fraction because this is a full year. See, the interest rate is already at a uh, annual rate, and so we just multiply it times five. So the amount is going to be 1750. We'll make dollar signs here. And what's the total in her account at the end of five years? Well, it's going to be five thousand dollars plus this 1750. So it's going to be the original five thousand dollar principal plus the interest of 1750. So that's six thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. So that's how we do the simple interest for multiple years. Now, another way to think about this simple interest, you could take 5,000 times 7%. In fact, let me do the math here for you. If we did 5,000 times 7%, how much is that for one year? Well, it's $350. For the second year, it's $350. For the third year, fourth year, fifth year, it's all going to be $350. And so what's the total interest? Well, we can do the sum here of this entire column for the five years. The sum of $350 five times is going to be $1,750. So this is our answer, $1,750. Let me show you just real quickly what would happen in compound interest. You're going to understand this. Compound interest, we have the same rate every year, but when we go 5,000 times 7%, we get 350. We add that to the original 5,000. So compound interest is interest on top of interest. So 5350 will get a little more interest than 5725, a little more interest. So what's going to happen is instead of growing to 6750, it's going to grow to 7013. So the interest for short period of times, certainly we can use simple interest. For long periods of times, we use compound interest. Because compound interest is going to provide, at the same rate, provide a larger amount of interest. And so in this case, we saw $2,013 rather than $1,750. And then over time, the longer the time goes or the bigger the interest rate, the more that uh, is a difference between compound interest and simple interest. Our next video, we're talking about compound and simple interest, and then we'll work on lots of compound interest formulas. Hey, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.